Good morning, I'm down the coast and thought I'd provide an update and also I wanted um, a bit of advice. I mentioned once before that I've um, got something that's down here that keeps nibbling at the leaves. So this is an apple. So someone suggested that it's um, grasshoppers but the locals say no, it wouldn't be grasshoppers this late in the season. But, um, you know, we're going in, well, it's winter now. Would this be done by possums? Someone said, oh, it's most likely possums just stripping the new growth. Um, but, yeah, it'd be great if you can, somebody could let me know. So it's one apple that, that is being attacked, a mulberry Look, there's an apple right next to that, and that's got, that hasn't been attacked whatsoever. Um, and it's got some apples on it. So, yeah, I'm really unsure. That one's been open, so that one's a tropical beauty. Yeah, three apples. Yeah, this one, which is um, a golden door set, has just been stripped. So I am going to net it and see what happens. Um, I've just netted the mulberry because that's in the same state. Um, that's just been stripped bare. And just like this one next to it. So, I've got to give it a go. Um, I haven't got all these pests up my way at um, Illawarra, but yeah, that's a jabbercada. It's doing okay in a pot. Empire. All good. I just bought down um, last time I came down. That was another crab apple. So that's not really doing anything. Hibernation. That was the other crab apple. I'll just show you a minute ago. This one. It's a King David. Yeah, not attacked whatsoever. That's really weird. A lemon that's not attacked. Yeah, you'll see in a minute the lime's starting to be nibbled. So that makes me think it's something that can reach the outside. And there's been a little um, bit of pressing on the wires that's around it, so I'm not too sure. This is an orange and the same thing. See the wire's being pressed in. It has to be possums or something. I just didn't think, why would they just eat the leaves? So this is a mandarin that did have fruit on it. But the branch broke. So I lost the fruit. But now the whole thing's just been attacked. I cannot see any form of um, caterpillars or anything like that. Next to that is a lime and a station. Not attacked. Pretty baffling. So we've got like two, four, four plants and then just that is obliterated and then a couple of nibbles on and two others. So these are two apples that are placed in the same hole. So one's a pink lady, which is that one. And Vistabella. Yeah, the lime's going okay. I put a bit of white oil on that. It's a bit of cool. So I fenced off uh, that area there so that the dogs don't go in there. <clears throat> 
with um, the snake, which I now can't find. So I'm hoping that it has moved on, but I can't trust that it won't come back at some stage. So just I don't want them to like snuggle into that compost area in there. Because um, that's where I saw it go a couple of weeks ago and I was down. I'll just step over it. So I've kind of got it fenced off. I just don't want them to upset anything. So these are the, I suppose that's Max Golden I bought down. Um, and that one is the Black Sapoli. And then this one, I believe, is the white. Yeah, white. So I've got one of each. I just have to try trim one of the big gum trees to put them under. And it's just another lime. So this is what the banana area looks like. And see, I've got a lot of broken banana leaves, which makes me think something was hanging on them and kind of pushed them down. But yeah, no sign of uh, the snake today, thankfully. Got a few plants growing in the compost. So I think it's good that I just stuck up that little fence. It's just a little kid's playpen fence. But better than nothing. Now I've got a motorbike that started up. Bananas are going pretty good. Hope to get some this summer. Yeah, the Tenerilla is growing really nice. Kind of growing out, reaching for the sun. They're the Trixies that I've just got there. A couple of dragon fruit ready to plant out. Yeah, passion fruit's going well as well. about it all. Bananas seedlings are coming up. Yeah, all's good in banana world. <laughs> no snakes hanging. So yeah, I'm just going to net that and hopefully I don't have to keep continually netting everything. Um, I get that when I get fruit, I will, which I will we'll do with that bunch today, but, you know, the mulberry looks like a ghost over there, and there'll be a few others by the end of today. All right, so that is my little orchard update. Um, not some great news for some of them, but the rest are okay. And, um, yeah, bring on winter, and then we'll... We'll um, step out and hopefully get some fruit on a few of these things. You know, thanks for watching the update. Please uh, comment if you have any idea what is eating these trees. But, yeah, have a look, man. That's a real shame. So we'll see how we go. Thanks for watching. I'll provide an update on um, my other other house at Elora um, when I'm back. Thank you. Bye.